guys how's it going welcome to my video this video is about ecu failures and in particular centras um an 04 centra apparently it's not an uncommon issue for these model year centras to have those kind of ecu issues now, here are the symptoms of the issues. If you have a Sentra that has these kind of issues where you, you are driving on the road and out of nowhere it dies on you, you could be going 50 mile, 55 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour, and it just all of a sudden dies on you. Or it'll die on you when it's idling and you got to wait like 10, 15 minutes before you can restart it. There's a good chance that your ECU is having some issues. I'm going to tell you guys how you know 100% that it's the ECU that's the issue and not anything else. Basically... With these kind of problems, a lot of people would think maybe it's the it's the fuel pump. They'll they'll think maybe it's the fuel injectors. They'll think and and in these situations they'll replace these parts. All right, they'll replace these parts. It gets expensive, and it doesn't solve the issue. All right, so it's a crank you, you'll get for the most part with this issue. And I believe Nissan had a recall on this issue with bad ECUs. However, since it's between these model years, I, I believe it's 04 model year. So you, I'm not quite sure what the year range from, but that's, the, that's the, pretty much the model that we're talking about. And if you have these kind of issues, let me tell you what you guys should do. The first thing that you guys should do with these with this issue is not to figure out, not to change out parts, not to change out the spark plug or the coils or the fuel pump. It can get very, very expensive. What you guys can do in this situation is you guys want to get an OBD2 scanner. If you guys have an OBD2 scanner, you guys want to plug it in. You guys want to plug it into your OBD port. All right. It's going to give you either A, a readout of codes that's causing this issue. You're going to either get a check engine light. If it is the spark plugs, you're going to get a check engine light for a code for whatever the spark plug that's misfiring or whatever it is that's causing the issue. If if it's the fuel pump, you probably will not get a code for it, but you can use starter fluid. You can do tests on the fuel pump to see whether it's the fuel pump or not. Now, here's the thing about this situation with using the OBD2 scanner. All right. In most of these situations, if the ECU is bad, and this is how you can tell whether it's the ECU that's the issue or something else is the issue. All right. You can think maybe it's the throttle body that's the issue. Maybe it's the throttle position sensor. Maybe it's the spark plugs. Maybe it's the fuel pump. All right. But you're getting a crank no start issue on this problem. All right. Once you plug the OBD2 in, most of the, like, its job is to read the ECU, all right? If there's no codes for it, it should go, it scan all the way and tell you that there's no codes. Now, if you plug it in and then it scans and it doesn't scan all the way through, it's telling you there's no communication with the ECU or the ECM. Both EC, uh, ECU and ECM are essentially two names for the same thing, which is the car's computer. Now, if you get if you get that message that 
it can't communicate with the ECU or if it hangs like if it hangs and if it hangs and doesn't complete the scan you're okay so it kind of depends on which kind of scanner you have you might have a scanner that tells you cannot communicate with ECU uh, CAN bus or you might have a scanner that doesn't ha give you that information telling you specifically what it is but it'll 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 hang it'll hang for for forever actually you know it won't finish scanning all right in that situation there's a there's a good chance that it's an ECU that's the issue now what you guys want to do in these situation is before you guys swap out the ECU you guys want to make sure that it's not a fuse problem all right you want to make sure that it's not a fuse issue so you guys want to go and test out all your fuses to make sure that your all your fuses are good because I believe that there is an ECU fuse in the fuse box and if that's blown then you guys uh, then it's probably the fuse that's blown and not the fuse box itself now if you guys are going to go out and change out the ECU knowing that the ECU has issues and it's the problem and like I said before, you can know exactly whether the ECU has problems by scanning it. If it tells you it can't communicate with um, with the ECU or it hangs and doesn't finish scanning, then it's the ECU that's the problem. Or it's the fuse, but you got to test that out first. All right. So for these model years, the ECU, you can either get it repaired, which you probably should buy, should not get it repaired uh there's companies that tell you they can repair these ecus but it's very complicated and sometimes they get the unit back worse than it was when 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 you sent it out however you can actually buy an ecu same model year from ebay just as long as the top menu that's that's it's two numbers i think there's a there's a top number and a bottom number you just i'm not quite sure which is i think the top number is the parts number and the bottom number is the manufacturing number the top number as long as the top number is the same you don't have to pre-program it all right the ecu is very very simple to take out all you gotta do is just take out the ecu pop it in and then just start it. That's all you got to do with these Nissans. It's not very complicated. And as a matter of fact, I don't think the ECU unit used ECU unit units are expensive. So if you want to just test that out to see whether it's the ECU is the issue, just get the same number as as what you have on your ECU, pop it in and you can test that out. All right, it's that simple. And that's the diagnosis for it. You guys have any questions? Any of your own personal experiences with this? Definitely go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and all that good stuff. All right, guys. Take care.